Hello everyone. We're going to do something a little bit different today where I'm going to be playing Vito VR. And as you know, I mostly play DCS. I think I've only put in, well, looking at Steam, I've only put in like 12 hours, I think, on this sim total. So, but I would love to play this a lot more. So, anyways, we got this new module, The Mischief, which Reminds me of the F-14. By the way, I should point out, this is not a tutorial, by the way. All right, cool. We're inside the mischief here, Code Dark Jet. Let's go here. It's not a tutorial, by the way, since I'm still getting used to Vito VR. All right, so at this point, as soon as I turn on the APU, everything just got like so loud, I just had to redo the audio. <laughs> So even though I had the game audio set to zero, I guess it's just something, something particular with Vito VR that I need to get used to. But anyways, I continue to close down the canopy and turn on the display HUD, of course. And then, yeah, I'm messing around with the brightness settings and we got fumbling with the engine engine switches here. I think I also started talking about some of the features that I like in Vito VR. And I did briefly mention one feature I kind of missed from DCS, which is open eboard. Or rather, like in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you have a checklist, right? So that's just something minor that I recall commenting on because I was like, hey, you know, the only thing I really need to remember with this jet is basically just turn on the sweep. That's it, but just, just mess with that sweep lever. But basically, that's similar to the Tomcat anyways, like in DCS, for instance. At this point, I'm basically getting ready to take off and go into taxi. I'm not sure if we need to go through this. Um, this actually took a while for me to go into taxi. I really wish I was able to keep that original audio though while I was inside the jet because I would say that was... This was my first takeoff from an airfield. So what I've been doing before is, before shooting this video, I was actually doing takeoffs from the carrier, since that's the mission that came with the jet. But for this here, I was taking off from an airfield. So yeah, basically looking around. This is a mission I made myself, which was pretty easy to do in the VTOLs uh, editor. I think it was my first map actually going from memory where I actually made my own mission but anyways yeah um, to wrap this thing up I am enjoying the module but I really want to spend more time in it you know and then maybe that's a real shame you know basically where I was going with it what I was about to say is it would be nice you know to put up more videos for Vito VR but yeah it's just it's like I really like the sim I play it a little bit um, offline though I don't usually put up videos since yeah um, you know like I guess an average game you say like hey I put in 10 hours on this game you know people think that's a lot but when it comes to like flight sim games you say like I put in 10 hours it's <laughs> not a lot especially when a lot of people put in like a thousand on Vito or 500 hours or something Something like that. Like, I know I got, like, over 500 on DCS clocked in in the cockpit. So, yeah. So, I would say after I feel, I'm feel i feeling more comfortable, uh, I can see myself putting up more content. It would be nice, uh, you know. Uh, I've been checking the Steam Workshop, though, for, like, other missions and stuff like that for this jet. But haven't really seen, I've seen some campaigns, bit, I've been playing around with jamming the SAM stuff like SAM sites, which is really cool. I'm not showing that in this video. So I guess I'm not gonna 
talk about it too much more. Um, I'll probably uh, link to maybe some other stuff in uh, video description, some other content that I like um, for this jet. <clears throat> Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully soon I'll get some more content up. I got some uh, some other stuff, too, that I want to get through, like uh, there's UEVR, and I'm thinking for DCS. We have, like, the Beyond video, the Beyond, I forget what they call it, like, may, maybe Beyond. It's, like, the 2024 video and Beyond, I think is what they're going to call it. So that might actually keep me busy. So I have a few things more planned. So stay tuned for that. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, the the take of, you know, the take of a DCS player that's playing with this module for the first time. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider uh, dropping a like and subscribe since it helps out the channel. All right. That's it for this video, folks. Bye.